Tonight, we have breaking news, a bombshell new development surrounding Joe Biden. Listen to this. According to multiple reports, classified documents from Biden's time as vice president, they were actually discovered at Joe Biden's private, unsecured office last year in November. Now, this includes top secret material collected by Intel sources uh, designated as, quote, sensitive compartmented information and national archives has already referred the matter to the department of justice we're only finding out now and a u.s attorney has been assigned to the case remember it was only a few short months ago there was a similar referral surrounding documents in former president trump's possession and then a short time later mar-a-lago was raided and searched by armed agents and that of course at the request of attorney general uh, Merrick Garland, part of Biden's executive branch, and the FBI director, Christopher Wray. Now, according to Democrats and the mob and the media, Trump's possession of potentially classified material was an offense that deserved prison time. And they predicted Trump would wind up behind bars. And they called on Merrick Garland to quickly indict the former president. And the hysteria, well, it was as usual with anything Donald Trump and the media mob, it was through the roof. Let's see if they'll apply this to Biden. Take a look. If uh, the Trump people represented that they provided all the classified or national security information and didn't, uh, that's a serious problem. No one is above the law. Yeah, and right. the rule of law in a democracy, um, you know, has to be our standard. No person is above the law, not even the president of the United States not even a former president of the United States. The intelligence community needs to do its risk and damage assessment about how Donald Trump's very reckless handling of these documents might have harmed our national security. This was not a mistake that these documents landed, you know, at Mar-a-Lago. This is what he intended. Uh, and it also, by the way, shows uh, that they really want to get these documents back. And every second that they're at this beach house uh, in the possession of Donald Trump uh, is a risk to our national security. My favorite was Hillary. We'll get to her in a moment. But we can now expect the same rhetoric surrounding Joe Biden. Is that going to happen? Will his private home face an early morning raid? Or will he get the Hillary Clinton treatment? You know, a free pass for mishandling top secret classified information. And by the way, to recap, in case you forgot, Hillary Clinton stored a mountain of privileged top secret classified information documents on her unsecured private servers, 110 pieces of classified information among her 33,000 or 30,000 department, State Department emails. Remember, Comey said no reasonable prosecutor would ever prosecute on that crime. And the left told us, ah, oh, it's no big deal. Never mind the 33,000 emails that she deleted with bleach bit. We didn't know about bleach bit until Hillary Clinton. And then, of course, the devices that she and her staff destroyed with hammers and the SIM cards that were removed from phones and Blackberries. And then a few years later, well, the media mob erupted into a fit of hysteria after presidential documents were located in Mar-a-Lago. They told us it was a scandal of epic uh, proportions. And now top secret documents have been found at Biden's private office. So far, no hysteria at all whatsoever. The double standard apparently never ending.